In the next 60 seconds, I'm going to go over exactly how I've generated hundreds of articles just like this one with proper content in article images, internal links like these ones right here that link out to other articles, external links that link out to authoritative sources. I'm going to show you exactly how I've generated hundreds of them starting right now. So what you do is you go to tryjournalist.com, log in, of course, go to your dashboard, click on generate articles and go to keywords mode, paste here all your keywords, right? These ones are for a plumber in New York City. Select your language, let's do just English, and click Generate. Now, that's it. Pretty straightforward. Now, if you want to go a step further, and in your articles, let's say this right here is your article, and add a featured image, add in-article images, maybe even add some videos in the articles, add internal links, meaning that this article will link out to other articles you've written in the past, add external links, meaning that this article will link to Wikipedia, uh, the New York Times, or any other authoritative source in your niche, uh, bold out words, have a call to action to your business, to your service, to an affiliate offer at the end. If you want to go an extra step further, here's how you do it. I'm going to need around 120 seconds to do so. So what you do is instead of using the keywords mode, uh, you just go to advanced mode, right? And then you go to create a preset. Now, there's a lot of information here. I'm going to go over each one of them real quick so you can understand how you can give you a bit more of a creativity and a bit more of input on the articles you put out. So let's send this press preset plumber, right? For the base, the generation mode, we're going to choose just keyword base, right? And then just paste in here our keywords, right? All these ones. For the content, uh, let's do language. In terms of creativity, we could do a bit more factual or correct or more creative or original. Let's just do super original. To a voice, let's just do a uh, formal. Uh, point of view, we can just do first person. That's that works fine. Uh, I won't dabble into custom instructions. This is an advanced uh, setting here, so I won't dive into this. Next, structure. We can add a call to action to our website or to our offer at the end. So let's just say my website was uh, nycplumbing.com, right? I don't even know if this exists or not, but let's let's see if it does exist. If not, we'll pick another one. Let's just do NYC plumber. And we'll just take here, we can just take the first one, right? That's this one, it works fine, right? So what this will do is at the end of the article, if I'm able to paste this right here, it will add a call to action to our site right here. Uh, let's just leave the headings to be automatically generated. We could have an input in our headings if you'd like, but let's just do custom, uh, sorry, let's just do auto generated. Then this is the fun part, internal links. We can have it so this article links out to other articles we've written in the past or to other pages on our site, right? And then just click here on the posts because this is where all the posts are. So just copy this, paste it in here. So now every single article that journalist generates, it's gonna have internal links to relevant blog posts. So this is only relevant things. So if this article talks about dogs, it will not link to an article that's talking about cats, right? If the article speaks about subject A, we we'll only link out to one of these articles that speaks about something similar to subject A. So the internal link isn't random. We actually read through all the posts and see and find the best ones that are more relevant to what we just generated, right? We can filter it if we want. Let's not do that right now. External linking, so we could do this automatic, meaning that it will scrape the internet for relevant articles in your niche and language. So if we're, for example, wanting to create articles uh, on a on a, on the finance niche maybe it will link out to TechCrunch or these financial uh, institutions online in this case because it is a site about plumbing i'm sure it will link out to other authoritative sources in the space space sorry on this niche that's plumbing right we can add manual ones if we'd like right we could link out to wikipedia let's just do wikipedia uh plumber maybe let we want to link out to the wikipedia right so just paste this in here and then go here, we can even add a custom anchor text, so we could do uh, what is a plumber, right? And it will, in the article, include this anchor that will link out to this um, link right here, right? Images, I usually like to go Google Lessons free photos, we can set custom images, we just add them here, right? Custom images, we can upload our own images, and then the article will only use our images. Uh, we can also use these stock photos if we'd like, but I'd like to just go to this one because it's the fastest one. Featured image, that's enabled. In article images, that's enabled as well. Videos, we can do automatically or manual. So manually, we can just put in here our videos. Or if we do automatic, uh, we will read your article, then go to YouTube to find relevant videos that fit inside the article that we just generated and add them there, right? Formatting, we can bold some words and then just click on create new preset, right? Now that that's done, we can go back to the generate article step. 
then go ahead and click on advanced mode select the preset we just created which is plumber and then i mean we can do 20 articles because that's how however many keywords i added but for this um, video sake i'm just going to do five we can do 300 if we like we just do five and click on generate now again this is generating the articles based on the info we gave it right based on all these keywords and based on the preset we just created now the preset has all the internal links right like i said before the articles will be based on the preset we created if we start from the top they're going to have the featured image internal links external links bullet out word word story in article images in article videos and a call to action at the end all this in english all this based on all these keywords right here right so that's what this is creating right now let's just wait for this load and i'll be back in just a second and there we go we can siphon through these we can change the featured image if we'd like there's a table of contents with all the article organized an overview with again internal links external links bold out words there's of course in article images like we saw before let me just cycle through another one here there's in article videos right all of this again you can have a higher degree of customization for example if we had used our own images sorry instead of using google's images but again we could do the same of course with with the videos in case you don't like these videos you can just use your own ones we just set it to automatic this one links to uh, our site right here as you can see it is an internal link linking out to a page on our site right so internal links are set up bold out words in article images this is a link to new york post so an external link to a uh, authoritative source right all of this done with ai right now should you just post this straight to wordpress or straight to whatever site you're using by the way the integration we the journalist posts straight to wordpress wix uh, webflow and ghost uh, but should you post it straight to WordPress? You can, yeah. I do recommend you proofread it because the whole goal of AI, if this is a ladder towards success, let's say success here is money, right? If you're using it to like journalists, you're starting up here, right? Because people generating content manually, they have to figure out the images. They have to figure out first, I guess, what content they're going to write about, right? Then the images. Then they have to figure out where they should add internal links, external links. Then they have to figure out where they add videos. They have to look for the videos, right? They have to look for the internal images. There's a lot of steps that you need to take to have something like this right and with journalists you start from up here you don't start at the success because of course you should always proofread make some minor edits and all that but uh, it is a, a long way ahead that you start from the people that are not producing content with tools like this right again we just generated five but we could have generated more but again you get, you get a, a proper 90 percent of the way that article done with in article images in article videos and uh, of course internal links external links which are great for seo purposes and here at the end we have our call to action to our uh site right here in conclusion right plumbing new york city which was the site we added on the call to action there's again here a little call to action to call their their number or go to their site right pretty straightforward and that's how you do it um if you don't have the manual work of like going here and clicking sorry post integration one by one you can just go here and post all your integration uh, or if you just want to set up an auto blog that actually generates and publishes content over and over again on autopilot just go here create a new auto blog and what this does essentially is journalist connect to your blog right your blog can be wordpress can be wix can be webflow can be ghost uh, and it connects with your blog and generates and then publishes content on autopilot we have a couple of videos going over how the auto blogging feature works here in the channel. I won't go over that right now, but just know that if you don't want to do it manually, you can do it by, um, you can let AI do it for you. Again, in regards to integrations, we integrate, oh, I forgot about Shopify, right? We integrate with all these ones, even Zapier. So yeah, that's that's it. That's essentially how you can generate all this content and have it automatically posted to your site. And that's why Journalist is a great tool if you're doing any type of content marketing. That's it. Try it out. I'll leave a link for this in the description. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.